For decades, Lisa Putzka's life was governed by wind and tides. When the conditions were right, she would fish for Spanish mackerel off the North Queensland coast and enjoyed every minute. You're in a beautiful environment, um, you're doing something you love. Life couldn't be better. And me and my husband did it together. The Putzka's fishing career came to an abrupt end last year when Walter was diagnosed with brain cancer. At the same time, a major shake-up of the East Coast Spanish mackerel fishery was announced. The entire commercial catch quota has since been cut by more than 71%. If you are a sole Spanish mackerel fisherman and you make your whole living from Spanish mackerel, you're realistically taking away 71% of their income. The new strategy was introduced to replenish stocks, which an assessment found had dwindled to 17% of original levels. But it's caused the value of fishing licences and purpose-built boats to plummet. You always expected to be able to sell your boat and your licence, and that would be your super. The fisheries department won't pay compensation to commercial fishers when a fish stock is depleted. With no income, Mrs Putzka is left to face an uncertain future as she nurses her terminally ill husband. Once he's gone, I will have something that's worthless instead of something that was worth something. I'm going to have to go back to work. I haven't worked for quite a few years. Um, and I guess it's a casual job. Trevor Perkis had hoped to fish his way into retirement on his beloved Trevanna, but now he's preparing the boat for sale. It's going to break my heart. Yep. 43 years I've been going to sea on this boat. It's uh, pretty sad. It would be too expensive for him to lease 20 tonnes of quota to catch the same amount of Spanish mackerel he did last year. Very angry with fisheries management scientists, the researchers, it's uh, gut-wrenching. A government spokesperson said all Spanish mackerel fishers have been offered a one-off licence fee waiver to help alleviate the impacts and a dedicated mental health service remains available to them. But Mr Perkis doesn't understand the lack of compensation. In other countries, the bloody fishermen are the heroes. This country, they just want to Stab you in the back. Australian court Spanish mackerel will stay on the menu at Dominic Zaghini's Ingham shop, but it won't come from the East Coast, which will cost him and his customers more, leading to more sleepless nights down the line. You know, like, it, it's in the back of your mind all the time. As much as you've got to show a strong face. The family-owned business is diversifying to remain viable, but the uncertainty is taking a toll.